Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I like to solving the big mess or big problem in traditional Chinese martial arts, internal art, qi gong, nei gong meditations. So after you complete watching this video, you will be able to know what is exactly going on and you'll be able to choose what you want to practice and get result. It is very important. Result because you invest on your time and uh, you need to get result. Okay? Now, first thing we need to know, it is a problem today in Chinese culture. This regard of it is traditional Chinese martial art, internal art, or uh, they call it Nei Gong or Qi Gong or meditations. It is all a mess now. Now, in order to break this mess away, we need to break things into three categories. First category is legends. Legend always somebody tell you, oh, this grandmaster in the ancient, uh, he have this secret teaching. He be able to have this chi. He is the king of fighting. Those are legends. Or like in the Wing Chun, it's always like, there's a mui, there's a chi sim who uh, have a burning Shaolin. Well, all those are legends. Or, oh, this family is the oldest lineage or something. And these all are legends happen in the, uh, in the traditional Chinese martial art circle, okay? It's just stories where you cannot verify and it actually have not much value. It just tell you a story. And sometimes people use that as a marketing purpose, like, hey, I'm the oldest Wing Chun lineage. Come study with me. It is just empty words. It is just legend. Okay? The second type is philosophy. The second category is philosophy. The Chinese internal art have this qi is according to Tao Te Ching, according to Yi Jing, according to Yin and Yang and Hexagon and all those whatever. Or the closest between two points is a straight line. And uh, all of this type of thing is called philosophy. Now, these two types of thing actually have no content. For example, in the legend, you can hear today some claim that Ji Sim developed Wing Chun. Some claim that it is Mui. What is it, Ji Sim or Mui? Some even say that it is from Taiji and, 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 and some even say it's from a Western boxing. And you can hear all those legend or story for past many, many decades. Same thing with the philosophy. So 
in philosophy, everybody be able to interpret how is it, what does it mean, like yin and yang, or you have chi from the yin and yang and all those kind of stuff of or, or the Buddhist <coughs> teaching, uh, the Buddha's teaching on emptiness. Well, everybody can interpret and on the philosophy. Everybody can have their opinion. And in the uh, legend, the same thing. Legend and philosophy is not the core of traditional Chinese martial arts, internal art, qigong, healing art, meditation. It is not. What it is, the real deal of traditional Chinese martial art, internal art, and, and all those uh, uh, real thing is you will have a theory and a practice. Within the practice, you will have a process of practice and verifications. The theory, so you know the direction is proper. The practice with the process and verifications, so you'll be able to experience it and refine it. Theory were based on like the Buddha's scripture, like the Anapanasati teaching. Okay. Practice were like the Buddha's teaching on Anapanasati meditations. Or oh, you need to uh, handle your body and then handle your, 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 your mind and then you want to be able to refine your breathing and then after that, you're counting your breath. So it's like that. Okay? So it never is, or oh, you keep practice this sets, and some days you will get something out of it, or you will develop some skill, or, or superior skill, or magic skill. It never happened. So it is these three things you need to be really careful. The legend, the philosophy, and the real teaching which is, consists of the theory and practice. And within practice, there's a verifications and there's the process. You don't waste time on the, uh, the, 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 all the, my interpretation, your interpretations uh, in the real thing. Because you need to experience it. Only you experience it, you can, you can refine. It's just like uh, you learn how to swim. The coach have to show you how to swim, tell you about the theory, the process of swimming, and how you verify, you know, can you swim? All sort of stuff. That's how the real world is. So whenever you learn something, whenever, whenever people talk something, you want to ask him on the theory and the practice, which is consists of the process of the training and the verifications. Anybody not be able to tell you that you walk away, you know that it is trying to use legends to substitute for the real thing, the real practice. Philosophy to substitute for the real practice. And that's why in Chinese Kung Fu today, this regard of it is internal, external, whatever heck it end up like today. You don't have the theory, the proper theory, which can back up by the practice, which is have the process and verifications. And it's all try to substitute the real practice 
the real teaching with this legend, my grandfather is uh, the king of Wing Chun or the king of Taiji or a Taoist or a, a monk, a Buddhist monk, what does it tell you at all? And, uh, oh, this is yin and yang. And this is the, 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 the philosophy. Uh, and this is my interpretation. Who cares for your interpretation? I want result. Okay. Now, so you got it? Don't buy snake oil. Do not buy snake oil. Disregard of what people say, you use this three category to check him. And as you know that this is the third category, it is really scientific. You, you have to be able to verify it scientifically. Okay? Now, so let's look into this, the real practice, the theory, the practice where you have uh, the process and verifications. This regard of it is internal art, external art, nei gong, qi gong, meditations, whatever heck, as soon as it's the Chinese, you use the six core element to analyze it. Tell me everything on this practice with the six core elements. You need to ask your Sifu that. And also, don't let people cheat you on, oh, this is six core element. Well, ask them details. Well, what do you mean by six core element? If you say it's a physical element, which part of the physical element? Show me the process. It's not like, oh, you practice this set. Uh, this is a six core element within the sets. Well, tell me what it is exactly the six core element in that sets. Okay? And also, because you know six core element, you know that if you want to talk about chi, first you have to handle, be able to handle your physical body, your mind, your breathing. Only that you can get to your chi. And only after that, you can get to your force flow, your jing, and only after that, you can handle your, 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 your momentum well. Okay? So, let's make you an example of the proper internal art or meditation. They're very, very basic. An example for you. In my book, Wing Chun Inception, that is a basic training, the basic foundation training for your internal development. So it is useful in martial art, in neigong, in qigong, in meditations, in healing art. That is the bottom line. If you cannot achieve that, forget about it. You don't have nothing. Okay? <clears throat> so, the N1 process start with the theory based on the ancient, in this case, in the ancient Wing Chun writing and the teaching of the Taoist or the, uh, the, the Buddhist and the, uh, the, the, the uh, Chinese medicine. And then <clears throat> it has a process it has a process it has a process okay it has a process step by step process and then it explain the theory behind the n1 process okay so you have the theory, you have the process very clearly. And guess what? You have a scientific verification. If you do that, you have to, this is the heart rate. 
you'll be able to see the result in the heart rate if you practice the N1 process and your heart rate and your stress, which is your heart rate variability, the stress will go down, meaning your heart rate variability will go up. So the N1 process actually is the very, very basic of handling of your physical body, your mind. Okay? And then indirectly, it get into your breathing and your chi. So directly, it is about your physical body and your mind, which is the, 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 the very basic of the six core element. The base is the physical and then the mind and then the breathing and then the chi. So disregard how you call it internal art or even external art, meditations, healing art, a martial art, whatever. This is the base. You need to know the end one, to know your body. And of course, your body, your mind, your breathing and your energy. So, so, so that's what it is. So the value of these books and the process is that you have the practice and the practice has to verify with the, what the Chinese teaching. It doesn't matter if China, uh, it is a uh, Buddhist, it doesn't matter if it is, uh, it is uh, the, the Chinese medicines it, or it is uh, Wing Chun. They are actually having a common denominator. They're based on the same, hey man, it's human, okay? It's not like the 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 uh, the, uh, the the Buddhist is from Mars and then the uh, the Tao is from Venus. It's not. It's human, right? You have the basic theory there, and then you have the process, the basic process, and then you have to be able to verify in today's science. Why? Hey man, one thousand years ago and today, this is still human. And today we want to get into this, verify with the science. Why? When anybody buy this book, get to the process, they need to know what it is going on. Okay, what is the ancient Chinese do in terms of today's uh, science so that people be able to experience it, be able to understand it, be able to repeat it with quality. Okay? So this is what I like to share with you. This regard of what you, you practice in the Chinese martial art, the Qi Gong, Mei Gong, whatever, forget all about the term. I want to see the theory of the practice, the process of the practice, the verifications. Unless you be able to give me that, you are not, not offering me anything. Because how, how can I, I develop any Kung Fu or skill without the theory pointing the directions, without the process tell me how to do it, without the verifications? Verify that I did it properly. Without that, what is it? So that's why you see in Chinese Kung Fu today, you have all kinds of interpretations, all kinds of this, this, this. Why? Because it is all legends and philosophy. It doesn't have the real thing, the content. So you say, well, Hendrik, is that, uh, that there's your, your interpretations? Nonsense. That's why I wrote the book. I show you what the ancient Chinese do. I show you what is the process, how you can develop and experience what it is and verify it with science. Medicines with your heart rate, heart rate variability, and even with your breathing rate, with your brain wave. Okay? So, 
So for example, let me just share with you this. I pull it out. You want to practice Qigong? You need to know the phase of your breathing. Your inhale, the rest, exhale, rest. Now, if you want to practice N1, then you need to know as what I have shared with you on the, on the, on the heart rate, on the heart rate handling, the heart rate variability, and in the advanced level of the N1, you'll be able to handle the, the breathing. You see that this is uh, dropping from 12 repetitions per minute down to under 6 per minute. Okay? And it actually, you can check it. Say this is the breathing per minute. And uh, once you get into the state, the meditations, if you have that power, capability, you see it just stay there and it's just going down. Okay, it does not monkey around. It is pretty repeatable thing. And also, say your brainwave. Your brainwave. A proper method and a proper practice will be, see, uh, in, in this brainwave, this three area, the calm, the neutral, and this is active. You see, a proper method just get you to the calm state right away, even though there's some spiking in the neutral. But a, a not proper, or if we don't know what we are doing, then you can see that the, 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 the brainwave is uh, between the uh, what you call it uh, the the uh, neutral and calm, but mostly it's actually uh, back and forth in the neutral. Okay, in the neutral for the most, and then only a little bit calm here. Okay, so this is a calm a little bit. It's go back and forth. It's not stable over here. It is majority. It is in the calm state. Okay, you can see that right. And this stable in the in the calm area versus this is uh, flying up and down between the neutral and the calm states. You need to have that if you want to talk about qi meditations, internal art, nei gong, whatever, or else all bad off. So this is what I like to share with you today. Remember that, okay? This is year two thousand twenty three. No point to, to, to screw each other selling snake oil and go nowhere. And people look at us like, are you serious? Chinese Kung Fu? And then everybody be able to say, oh, yeah, I'm the grandmaster. My interpretations. So right now we want to ask, show me your evidence scientifically. If you, if you have that training, Anytime, any place, any university, you can sit down there using your process, like this N1 process here, it will give you result. The only difference is somebody or and sometime you might do better and sometime less better, but you always be able to get in. Okay. So your qi gong, your qi, your fa jing, and everything have to base on that. Not lip service.